Now that we've got a dog, well, he's got to be taken out. And, well, it's got one little fringe benefit. I get to do some alley shopping. Surprising what people throw out. So just in the past few weeks, got myself a big uh, under-counter microwave oven. Don't know if it works yet. Haven't tried it out. Looks to be in really good condition now. Even if it doesn't work, I can uh, scavenge some parts out of it. Got a dresser. It's an oldie. Maybe 40s or 50s, I'm thinking. It is real wood. But some of the drawers need a lot of help. These aren't so bad, but this one in particular has just really come apart. Now that wouldn't be a problem, I could glue it back, except that they must have used it for a while in a damaged condition, and one side, the bottom of this side, has really worn down, so I'd have to shim that up or replace the whole side of the drawer. But hey, it's free, so, you know, nothing to lose there. Got this funky little chest that you can use for storage. Cheap, but there's some decorative value, I suppose. Even got a Van Gogh detour sign. Every garage needs some street signs hanging up. But what I really wanted to show you was the latest find, which is a 32 inch Panasonic LCD TV. It's a bit old, 2007 vintage, and it's very deep. But I looked up reviews of it and they got really high marks because apparently the trade-off to having this deep cabinet was it's got a really wide, uh, wide angling view, a wide view of angle, whatever the expression is. Now what I don't like is because it's old, it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, extras. It's certainly not a smart TV, it's only got two HDMI ports, uh, and it's only 720p. But hey, let's, uh, let's try powering it up and see what we get. Check that out. It's got to be a good four or five inches deep. Plenty of vent holes, and you can really see down in there. The circuit boards are very exposed. So there's a lot of empty space on the back, which makes me wonder why is it so deep. The tops of the circuit boards and caps seem to end a good inch, inch and a half in. I figure there must be something back in here that really sticks out. So here's the inputs. It's said old school, so it's got component input and S video and composite. So let's give it a try. Big funky power button. Hey. Wow. Weird how it dimmed down right away. Now I don't have the remote, unfortunately. Ah, uh, but, let's see, well, channel up down does select up down. What does volume do? Volume doesn't seem to do anything. Ah, TV video selects. Well, I don't have anything hooked up right now, so let's try demo mode. Maybe without any signal hooked up, demo mode's not going to do much of anything. Wouldn't be the first time I found something that just flat out works. People move all the time, they don't want to take stuff with them, they'd rather just leave it behind. Plus, technically in the city, you're not supposed to throw out electronics. You're supposed to take them to the designated disposal area, which is a bit of a drive, so... Why not leave it in the alley, because everybody around here knows that somebody is going to pick it up the scrappers or somebody such as myself. So they must have had cable because it looked like it was on channel 134. Alright, well, looks like you briefly get snow before it cuts out. It's curious how it, it gets bright and dims right away when there's no signal. I wonder if that was to conserve the backlight because I assume this uses a CFL backlight. I'll tell you what, this seems to work. I mean, obviously I don't have a signal hooked up, but uh, I'm not seeing any obvious problems. And from what I could see of the circuit boards inside, we're on bulging caps. It 
So if I was to rig up an antenna, I should be able to scan and pick something up. How about that? I think we got lucky. Yeah. Got a new 32 inch TV. Alright, got a little square antenna. Let's see what I can pick up. I imagine I'll need to change the mode. Hmm. I'll try to get back to the main menu. Where's the volume does volume. All I want to do is get to the menu so I can switch to antenna mode and scan for valid channels. This lets me change input mode. Usually you're able to navigate the menu completely with just the the buttons on top of the TV, but in this case if so volume keeps cutting me back out to the main screen to just do volume and nothing else. TV video seems to just keep scrolling through the list as this channel up and down. I don't know how to do the select OK return functions. Demo keeps bringing me back to the demo, toggles that. Well, at least I, I know I've Googled uh, this model and uh, there's info online, so I should be able to find a user's manual. Well, there might be some overlap with cable channels and over the air broadcast if I can get this thing down into broadcast channel range. So six. Hey briefly we had channel six appearing. Skins thirty eight to fourteen in Thursday night football. So we go just had to adjust the antenna a little bit. So it seems like this TV right now is in analog mode, so they must have been using analog cable with it. Get Chicago news first at the top of every hour on 720 WGN, and there's more timeless and memorable. So, yeah, I definitely need to get into that menu. I want to switch this over to digital broadcast mode and then scan for channels and see what I can pick up. So far, so good. Now, here's the other TV I picked up a few weeks ago. It is a real piece of crap. It's a Scepter. But it's got everything. It's got. Plenty of HDMI, USB, every type of uh, input you could imagine, and a built-in DVD player, which apparently though does not work. Well, the only thing I use it for so far is yeah, is my Chromecast just to feed a signal into my old stereo system. So I can so I can play YouTube and stuff. So stream stuff and uh, take the audio out from TV and go into my Citation Harman Kardon preamp and then amp and speakers. I got to modernize this stuff somehow. It's either that or I've got a couple Blu-ray players that are smart as well, so I can do Netflix and stuff like that. However, there are numerous dead pixels. Not so obvious right here. But hey, you know, for free, it it, uh, it does what it needs to do. It's got a wall mount on it. I don't have a stand for it. So, but I said I really want to go with this in a permanent manner. I can uh, mount it on the wall here. Don't have a remote control for this guy either. But uh, I imagine I can find universal remotes for both these TVs. But hey, for right now, if nothing else, I can retire the scepter and hook this guy up. The only downside I've seen so far is that the Chromecast device needs USB power and I don't see any USB ports on this TV so I had to take out a wall wart and hook it up. Got the 
audio out to go into my receiver. So, let's see if we get this thing to work. To grab my phone too, because those of you who don't know, Chromecast is a Wi Fi device that lets you stream content to an HDMI device, but it needs to be controlled with uh, something like a phone, a smartphone, they have an app for it. Oh, the image looks pretty damn good to me. So let me fire up YouTube on my phone and try to stream to this and see if this all works. So the way this works is you pull something up on your phone and assuming you're both on the same Wi-Fi network you can connect and tap cast to Chrome and my viewers and go. patrons at the end of the video thank you for helping me get there now let's make the ladder uh, now that sound is coming out of the TV according to historian I'm not sure what input I'm using on this Yeah, I was afraid that might happen. I'm not sure the sound out on this is actually configured to output sound. Well, I'll fool around with that. But regardless, uh, definitely a big win. Microwave oven transformer. It creates over 2,000 As far as the image quality goes, yeah, that does have a really wide viewing angle. That's for sure. I mean, basically, you can just go completely around it. And for 720p for a 10 year old t TV, that's not bad. It also has a 120 uh, hertz refresh rate, and that's, that's pretty evident. And especially considering this is going. Streaming from my phone through <laughs> Chromecast to the TV. That's some really good quality. All right, so uh, that is what uh, hopefully will be the first of many alley shopping videos. I hope you enjoyed it.